Hi guys, today I'll tell you about my Niagara trips. Niagara City and Niagara Fall. The way from Toronto to Niagara it took 1 hour and 20 minutes. And now sit back, relax and enjoy. Niagara Falls is a city in Ontario. It is on the western bank of the Niagara River in the Golden Horseshoe region of the southern Ontario with a population of a near 1 million at the 2022 year. It is part of the St. Uh, Catherine's Niagara Census Metropolitan Area incorporated on 12 June in 1903, the city is across the river from Niagara Falls. Niagara Falls is approximately 130 kilometers by road from Ontario's capital of Toronto, which is across Lake Ontario to the north. The area of the Niagara region is approximately 1,800 km. The city is built along the Niagara Falls waterfalls and the Niagara George on the Niagara River, which flows from Lake Erie to Lake Ontario. The city of Niagara Falls has humid continental climate which is moderated to an extent in all seasons by approximately two water bodies. Winters are cold, like in Toronto, with a January high of 4 degrees, minus 4 degrees, and a low minus 7, minus 10 degrees. However, temperatures about 0 degrees are common during winter. The average annual snowfall is 154 cm, in which it can receive lake effect snow from both lakes Erie and Ontario. Summers are warm, too hot and humid, like in Toronto, with a July high of 27 degrees Celsius until 35-37 and a low of 17 degrees Celsius. The average annual precipitation is 970.2 mm, which is relatively evenly disrupted throughout the year. This is my third visit to Niagara, my first visit to Niagara was in 2019 and second visit was in 2020 on January before pandemic and this is uh, my third visit to Niagara and Niagara Falls in 2022 on June. Finally I got the ticket for this boat and this boat is, uh, took me to Niagara Falls, like face to face, and I think so. It was so excited for me, and it was, I think so. It will be excited for you as well. And uh, it just was incredible trip. It was amazing. 15 minutes, 20 minutes. Uh, let to see.
after this attraction, I was in shock. I was excited, so I got many positive energies, and my I lost my negative energies, too many many negative energies, and I like was born again. You have to go and try it. Let's to watch my next activity. My next activity it was attraction zipline. Uh, zipline is so scary and uh, full of excited, full of energies, full of surprises. So danger, like a boat, but I think so. Zipline is very danger and very risky that boat. Let to watch my. Uh, this activity and we will continue Yes, it was so excited, it was so risky, so dangerous, so too many energies. I was born again and uh, I felt many, many positive energies. Yes, but let me remind you that before that activity, before zipline activity, I signed a paper about uh, in case of emergency. I signed uh, this paper about I have no problem in case of emergency. The company is not responsible for my life. Tourism started in the early 19th century and has been a vital part of the local economy since that time. The falls became known as a natural wonder in part to their being featured in paintings by prominent American artists of the 19th century such as Albert Bierstadt. In 2004, several tourist establishments in Niagara Falls began adding a 3% marketing fee to bills. The collected money is untraceable and three are no controls over how each establishment spends it. You can find many activities in Niagara downtown as well. Uh, you can go 
as you know, Niagara City on the first place in Canada, maybe in like of the world as well. I don't know exactly. It's like a, a casino industry, and too many people are come from other ca- countries uh, of the world just play casinos. You can take a hotel for one night or two night, and it's to t- you can take a view to Niagara. Usually it's expensive as I know. I think so you will like and you will like to see Niagara view by your window at night and you will like night lights, Niagara night lights. You can go as well Niagara um, Skyline Tower and you can take a ticket and go up like CN Tower and see Niagara fall from the top. Or you can go to Niagara downtown and see Niagara Falls Art Gallery, Peterson Community Gallery, Niagara Falls Center for the Arts, Seneca Queens Theater, or you can go to Queen Victoria Park, it's a big park, Rosberg Family Park. You can go to festivals and events. Usually it's in the summer, festivals and new events. It's like Niagara Integrated Film Festival, Mount Carmel Fine Art and Music Festival, Niagara Ice Wine Festival, Jazz Festivals, uh, Niagara Woodworking Show, and other many activities. If you are not subscribed to my channel yet, subscribe my channel, ring the bell, like this video and share with your friends please. Thank you for watching and goodbye.